Hey guys, welcome back to the Rev Room. It's been a while. Uh, I just wanted to say before I get started into this video that I'm doing, um, I appreciate all the love and support that I've gotten for the music I've been dropping on the channel, and there's plenty of more to come down the road. So, uh, like Mike said in the previous video, we will be putting all the music in a playlist. That way you can listen to it in the order that it was dropped or the order that the mixtape slash albums are in. So, we're going to jump right into this video, but I just want to say thank you to you guys for being listeners. I was in Costco over the weekend and, you know, doing my normal shopping and I went down the pet aisle. Happened to stumble upon something that looks like this. It's a Nerf dog tennis ball blaster. So if anyone has a dog and they play fetch with it, throw the ball outside with the dog, I happen to do it every day with mine, um, especially with the nice weather here. And all the times, what happens? You have a giant dog. Mine happens to weigh 70 pounds, okay? And these tennis balls are about good for a week, maybe two tops. Instead of buying the Wilson pack, you know, three pack tennis balls that I usually get, I saw this. There's actually 12 tennis balls that come with this Nerf blaster. Um, it said that it shoots up to 75 feet. So I'm gonna unbox this first, and then we're gonna take it outside and shoot this bastard off. Let's get into it. Here it is. That's what the package looks like. There's all the tennis balls in there. Sorry for the glare from the ceiling light, but that's what it looks like. Damn. But here's the gun. I just took this out. Um, the rest is just tennis balls in there. That's really about it. It's got one tennis ball in it, as you can see. Um, let's just say right here. Warning, never look down the barrel of the blaster. Caution. Back the fuck up. I'm gonna try to... Wow. That was no fucking joke. So that's what the inside looks like. Oh, and the balls are squeaky too. Nerf dog. My dog probably hears that now downstairs. He's probably running his ass up here right now. Yeah, this thing, I just tried cocking it back and then, you know, slightly aiming and firing it. I literally hit the end of my futon where the armrest is and it hit the leg on my tripod. Yeah, this thing uh, probably do some damage if you just, you know, shoot someone in the face with this. So let's not try to do that. Let's use it, you know, for what it's intended for. We're gonna take this fucking tennis ball bazooka outside and see how far this bastard shoots. It just made a new discovery. So when you go to load it, there's nothing in there right now, as you can see. Caution, don't look down the barrel. Um, but when you go to rack it, then you press the trigger, it's loaded, but the rack's still back. So there's this button here, little tab button, and then you press it, and then it goes forward. Probably what I should have did before instead of just firing it, um, but again, I didn't look in the instructions, so who gives a shit? We're going to take this bad boy outside, fire off some tennis balls. Let's go. I got it loaded up. There's one in the chamber. Don't look down. Warning. It's racked. It's all ready to go. So I'm going to fire it. And he got it. This time we'll shoot a little higher. Nice situation with a yard this big. Kind of just better off throwing it. Last shot. Oh, 
what do I have to say about this thing? Um, gotta be honest, I actually didn't expect it to shoot as far as I throw the ball when I go out with my dog. The fact that it's a lot of plastic, I mean, listen, it's Nerf, what do you expect? But, you know, just don't feel like the high quality Nerf guns that I had when I was a little kid. You know, you could throw those things down a flight of stairs and pick it up and it still works. Would I recommend this thing? I mean, honestly, unless you have a basket of tennis balls and a tennis racket to hit those shits out in the lawn and your dog can go grab it and bring it back, um, not really. I mean, I'm going to continue to just throw the tennis balls with my dog. As far as using this blaster, I don't know. might be just not really what I'm looking for, especially the size of my yard. I'm going to continue to throw the tennis balls and a new discovery I made with these tennis balls. Um, obviously, you know that they squeak, but they also bounce very high too. I got all these tennis balls I could use just for my dog. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We also have videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.